Okay, here's a test of the new air conditioner condensate pump. So I've been collecting all the, the condensation that air conditioners normally have. Ours happens to make about five to six gallons a day. And I've got this fish pump in there. I'm going to try and pump it outside to water blueberries and other acid-loving plants since this water is slightly acidic, just like rainwater. So let's fire it up, see how it does. I heard a ripple, and I hear water pumping, and it's a level going down. Looks like it's just barely slowly going down, so it is working. That's a good sign. Here's the other end, it comes out of the house. I got it pumping into this big barrel here. You can feel it flowing. Just a second. Got a little bit of flow there. Not a lot, just a little pea stream. Oh, I barely pumped that high. I was giving it too much elevation, so let me put it down in there. This pump's only rated for 9 feet, and I'm probably doing closer to 10 feet, so that's okay. That's amazing. This water came from the air. This is water that the heat pump made yesterday. Just condensed it out of the air, and now it's watering blueberries. Isn't that just cool? That's pretty neat. And here you can see the pump is down at the bottom of the barrel. It's, it's about ready to start sucking air. So let's see here in a minute what happens. There it goes. We kill it. Three minutes to drain five gallons. Not bad for a ten foot climb. Not bad. Oh, it's gonna back feed a little. Hopefully it doesn't. Oh, that's an interesting problem. What if it back feeds the whole the whole tank? The whole upstairs one. Oh, looks like it's just a little bit. Okay, good deal. So it back feeds a little, but it's just this vertical climb. It looks like. Hopefully it won't siphon the whole barrel. <laughs> I may have to work this out a little more. 